Man, it is a beautiful day here. I'm Jeff, they call me Mr. Devious, and uh, I'm here because I want to share a recipe with you that I've just enjoyed and that I love making, and everybody I make them for, they just like, they're like the best hamburger they've ever made. So what I call this is beer bottle burgers, and it's got everything in the world in it, and it's delicious. So you're asking, like, beer bottle burgers? Like, what the hell is that? I'm like, well, I'm about to show you, okay? So we're gonna start off right now by cutting up all our vegetables. We're gonna put them on the flat grill and get them cooking. And then I'll show you a little trick with the, the hamburger and what I do with the spices. It's nothing special. You can do this at home. You can get all the ingredients right there at your local grocery store. I just like to share what I like because uh, it tastes delicious and you will think the same after you try it. So first off, we're gonna start with all the vegetables. So what I have here is two uh, two pieces of garlic. We're gonna put them up in the, the masher. All right, there we go. So we got the garlic. We already have bacon crumbles, which we're gonna add bacon to it anyway, but you can never go wrong with too much bacon, right? Uh, mushrooms, simple. I'm gonna wait for the onion to last because I don't wanna cry on video. So if you don't want it extra spicy, the, the trick here is to get the flavor out of the jalapeno is just take the seeds out. If you don't know anything about jalapenos, them seeds are what get you. Mmm, a little juicy. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to throw them in the little chopper with the garlic just because I want them to be just like a little fine. I'm not trying to make it a fire hot burger. I'm not trying to make it a, a crazy burger where you like can't eat it. I just want a burger with like lots of flavor. So I've taken this recipe to another level. Okay, so let's get this onion done. Pardon me if I start crying. All right, at this point, I'm ready to start the grill with a flat grill. I'm gonna preheat the Traeger to about 275. I'm gonna add a little extra virgin olive oil to the grill. Okay, I like to smear the grease around a little bit, the oil, not grease, sorry, my bad. It's not a car, not wheel bearings. <laughs> and then I'm gonna let it heat up a little bit before I decide to uh, throw my fixings on. So we've got onions, mushrooms, jalapeno, and garlic. You have no idea. I don't know about you, but I always like a lot of pepper on my food. So if you don't, don't use it. But if you're like me, you like a lot of pepper, sprinkle it on top. Okay. And then I also like to use a little bit of seasoned pepper. This has a little bit more spice to it. And I just feel that it gives a little more flavor to everything you're doing. Now get down to the good stuff. This is three pounds of just hamburger meat you buy at your local store. I chose the high fat stuff because I think it tastes better. And I'm fat, so whatever. So what I like to do with this is I like to break an egg, toss that puppy in there right there. I like to add a little black pepper. I actually like a lot of black pepper because that's just my style. And then I also add a little bit of seasoned pepper. Again, it's my style. I like a lot of spice to it. I'm gonna toss in some crumbled bacon. And of course, some Monteo, because this is what makes it sick, right? So I'm gonna take my hands, I'm gonna knead the meat. But these are the tricks that I use. And if you follow this recipe, I guarantee you won't be unhappy. Look at the smoker smoking already. Mmm, smells good, doesn't it? So basically what I'm gonna make is a meatball. Nice sticky little delicious burgers. Okay, and what do I have here? Three pounds makes about five of these puppies. So at that point right now, I'm going to stop and wash my beef hands up. And then I'm gonna come back out here and I'm gonna show you what makes these extra special after we flip them vegetables, all right? Our smoker is up to 220 right now. I think it's about time to teach you guys what it really makes these burgers special. Are you ready? All right, here we go. That's right, you stuff your beer bottle in it. So what you do is you make a nice little cup around your beer bottle, just like this. And then what I like to do, I like the extra thick bacon. Look how thick this thing is. Oh, delicious, can't wait. I wrap that burger in bacon, just like that. Okay, 
So what you're doing is you're making yourself a little cup right there. Perfect amount of bacon left, two pieces. Nice, big, fat bacon. Shit, I'm gonna have to invite over four other friends to enjoy this with me, huh? Now you can see that each of them have a little bit of cup in there. So again, I know I already put it in the hamburger meat, but I like lots of pepper, I like the spice of pepper. You can add hot sauce. If you're gonna use hot sauce, I recommend using Tapatio, which is one of my favorites. For those of you who don't like Tapatio, we got the Chalua. And again, we'll make a couple of those with those. All right, let's check on our vegetables real quick. Oh, the mushrooms are done. Onions are looking good. I'm gonna make two or three different ones with each one has a little bit different zing to it. So what I got here is some pepper jack cheese. I just cut, up, cut them up in little squares. Um, I think this makes it, so like I like to throw one or two in each one of these. We're going to move these puppies over to the grill. And what we're going to do is we're going to add all of our favorite mixins. So we're going to put some onions in this one. I'm going to put some onions in this one. Keep in mind these are two different hot sauces. Oh, I'm getting a little messy here. A little jalapenos. Okay, now we have our burger with spices in it. We have bacon wrapped around it. We have onions, already cooked, mushrooms, jalapenos, garlic. But now I'm gonna cover these suckers in some mozzarella cheese. And to me, you can't have enough cheese on a burger. So I'm gonna pack this stuff in here real good. You know, cheese on top, cheese on bottom. So now we're gonna put these burgers on the grill. And they take about an hour at, oh, we're, we're working for 325 right now. We're about 250. This grill will get there. We're using pellets. I believe I'm using hickory today. Now, before you put them to bed, I always like to give them a little toast. And if you know what I mean by toast, I'll put a little Monteo in each one of them. So now we're gonna set our timers for one hour and then we're gonna come back and check it periodically. And I guarantee you, hands down, these are the best burgers you've ever eaten. So we've had these burgers on the smoker for about an hour now, and now it's time to take a look and see what's going on underneath this little hood here. Ah! This isn't the best part. The best part is when you put it in your mouth. My mouth's watering a little bit. That's how good they look. Now we're to the best part of the meal, eating it. So I just want to cut one in half for you just to show you how delicious this thing is. Look at that. Loaded with goodness, bacon, cheese, onions, jalapenos. I tell you, this is bomb. Cheers. Mm -hmm. That's goodness right there. I thought that maybe this would be a good idea that I have a friend over and just blindly taste test him and see what he thinks. So, uh, He'll be over in a minute. We're gonna try this together. Wow, that looks amazing. So I brought my friend Jeremy over. How are we doing? <laughs> Give him a beer and a burger. And I really want that. This is a true taste test right here. Never had it before. Wasn't paid to do this. Let's see how it goes. Wow, dude, that looks amazing. And keep in mind, he already ate tonight. So already this ate. Is, this is times two. This is times two. <laughs> That's amazing. They do it up? Kidding. That's serious. So that's really good. I'll give you the recipe. It's real easy. Yeah, that's really good. Do you Traeger this? Mm -hmm. That's amazing, dude. You can taste all the flavor. What kind of pellets do you use? That's that's really good. Well, that's my secret Cooked recipe. All the way I, use, through? I use Montejo in it. Oh, do you really? <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Beer? <laughs> yeah. Your Montejo beer? <laughs> that's delicious. Dude, that's good. That right there is a positive, and we're going to end on that note. Thanks, everybody. That is really good. Cheers. Thanks, Bye.